Welcome back. We all expect insurance premiums to rise, but not by this much. Emma's just got her renewal notice. Her premium is now more than $16,000. That's almost 10 times more than last year's. What was your reaction when you saw that $16,000? Like, I had to reread it. Like, really? Yeah, so it's just... I couldn't believe it. When Emma Lawson saw her renewal notice for home insurance, she felt sick. Yeah, you can't comprehend it really at all. Unaffordable? Definitely. Yeah, definitely unaffordable. The single mum's insurance with Allianz had skyrocketed from $1,699 a year to $16,418 a year. I was like, how did they work this out? And then you see like, yeah, it's broken down that the flood premium is $12,000 alone. According to Allianz, this is the reason for the massive price hike. The devastating January floods which swamped much of Meribara, three hours drive north of Brisbane where Emma lives. I understand that they've paid out in the last 12 months for what's happened in Queensland and northern New South Wales. Um, but you know, all the years before they were taking our money and they weren't worried about it then. I'm shocked to see a premium going up tenfold in one hit. Steve Mickenbecker is from Australia's biggest financial comparison site, CanStar. Everybody's policy will go up, but if you're in an area that is flood prone, and in particular a house that has flooded, expect it to go up a very big amount. Emma built her new home outside Meribara in 2021 and has lived here with her two children ever since. And as you can see from this aerial photo, she lives above the flood level. Emma videoed the river at the time behind her house, but she never got wet. Just to be clear here, have you ever claimed anything on your insurance policy? No, no, I've never made a claim on any insurance policy. And you didn't flood here? No, we didn't flood here at all. No properties in this area were impacted by the water. I think probably the insurance company has priced this one because they don't want more Maryborough risk. Did you get the feeling from this that they were just trying to get rid of you? They didn't want yeah. to insure you at yeah, all? Yeah, they really should have just said, we can't insure you. That's how I felt. Emma says when she contacted her insurer, Allianz, to ask about the price hike, she was told that if she took out the flood premium, then the cost would drop by more than $12,000. But Emma says even though she hasn't been flooded here, she wanted to keep the flood insurance as part of the policy. So it was then she decided to shop around. Living on the river, I am realistic that there is a chance. I think it's very unlikely, but as I said, this is the one chance I had to get a home. I wouldn't be able to do, a get, do it again if I lost it. Insurance is critical. I mean, you, you don't need to insure every little thing. You do need to insure your house. It's such a big element of, of our, our wealth and our well-being. Uh, you lose your house to massive fire, big flood, uh, then frankly you are in a lot of trouble financially. When she looked, Emma says other insurers were offering home insurance with flood cover for about $5,000. Does it amaze you that the, there's such a variation in prices? Yeah, it does. I just wonder why such a large company thinks that they can charge such an amount or why did they just not say we don't want to insure the property then make an unrealistic assessment. In a statement, a spokesperson for Allianz acknowledges that the cost of flood cover can be expensive for flood risk properties and the government flood maps, data and flood risk modelling in some areas indicated a much higher flood risk than previously. Allianz also denies abandoning homeowners in Maryborough, but you have to wonder whether soon many Aussies just won't be able to afford insurance at all. I think it's getting there, frankly. Uh, people in some cases will look at it and say, gee, I just can't afford this, what do I do? So what have you decided to do? I will um, allow this insurance policy to lapse when it ends um, in August and then I'm going with another provider. Once you've compared all of the policies that have cover, maybe there are bits of cover you've got to, got to say, well, look, I'll just have to live without. Uh, but gee, don't live without the really big things, the really life-changing events because then you can really wreck your financial future. Ironically, Emma says her insurance policy went from the cheapest available a year ago to the most expensive on offer. 
It really caused me some anxiety until I, you know, spoke with the neighbours and shopped around and found out that there was going to be, you know, another provider that I could afford. Mm -hmm.